Hello, my name is Michael Shalouli, President of Mastercut Tool Corporation. I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about the Transor system and one micron filtration. Uh, before Transor filtration systems came online, for us anyway, we weren't able to uh, keep temperatures constant inside the cabinet of the machine. That was one big advantage. We're able to keep a constant temperature. The oil, though, also seems to be a much better coolant and uh, finish is much better. So it's, it's, it's allowed us to do far uh, closer tolerance product. As far as maintenance on the machines, there's no comparison. Not only do the machines look nicer and stay cleaner, but they operate freer. We spend a lot less time and, of course, money on, on maintenance. Our operators love it. They stay clean. The tools are cleaner coming off the machines. Uh, there's just not enough that can be said about the cleanliness and the maintenance side of it. From a cycle time perspective, we do a number of different product lines here. We do burrs, we do end mills, we do reamers, drills. Pretty much any solid carbide round tool, we do it. We found that with the Transor system and the one micron filtration and the ability to keep the temperatures controlled, we've probably overall, with all of those product lines, been able to reduce our cycle times by 10 to 12 percent throughout the factory. Surface finish requirements are very important, of course. In our industry, cosmetics mean a lot to the customer. It may not seem that way, but someone's going to just use a tool in a uh, machining environment that it doesn't need to look good, but it does. Uh, surface finish allows the metal to, to move more cleanly off the cutting edge of the tool. And the uh, Transor oil, the filtration system that we have, along with new diamond wheel technology, by the way, allows us to get a very smooth, precise finish on the tools. It looks better. Customers want tools that look better, there's no doubt. But it also performs better in the field. So we're very happy with the performance we get on that level as well. All of us in this industry want the highest accuracy po possible. We do standards and we do specials here at MasterCut. And even on our standard tools, we want to hold the most accurate finish and the most accurate tolerances that we can. Obviously with standards, price is an issue to the customer, so you have to do those in volume and you have to get a, a much um, faster cycle time in many cases. The Transor systems allow us to do that hands down over what we had before, which is basically centrifugal systems. But on specials, you have to get that accuracy. And to get that accuracy, you need a number of things. All of your setup has to be perfect. With the Transor system and, again, diamond wheel technology that has come on board, we're able to hold temperatures very accurately. The oil is always clean, so we don't have issues of, uh, of uh, carbide getting into the, the coolants. And we're able to hold very tight tolerances on the specials and give deliveries to the customers that they need as well. Every aspect of grinding a tool is important. You have to have the right machine. You have to have the right grinding wheel. The operators, of course, have to be trained. Uh, but once you get those things settled, the coolant becomes a very important issue. Without the right coolant and without the ability to control those aspects of the coolant, like temperature, cleanliness, uh, the free-flowing ability of it, then you're not able to get the full performance out of a particular operation. And that's one of the reasons why we're actually looking at oil now for some of the other operations that we're doing, not only in tool and cutter grinding with the CNC machines, but other things such as centerless grinding and uh, tool preparation. Right now we're looking at centerless grinding to bring the advantages of one micron filtration into that area. And the reason is centerless grinding is where all of it starts. You have to have a very accurate centerless ground rod before you begin. If that process isn't good, none of the processes following it will be any good. Uh, another side of that is we're using water-based coolants now, and with environmental concerns, we, we want to remove that concern from the plant. So we're successfully testing with oil right now in our centerless grinding department, and we're very encouraged with the success we've had thus far. We, we had actually tried oil I'd say maybe about four years ago uh, in, in the centerless grinding department. And we had uh, 
some success. However, uh, it, it didn't actually fulfill the, the whole program at that time, and we went back to a water-based coolant. We did learn a lot from that experience. We learned that you have to take every aspect of that grinding operation into account. So at that time, we had a, a transor filtration unit, but we didn't have the chiller. We didn't try the synthetic-based oil. We didn't go to our diamond wheel manufacturers to uh, find the most optimum grinding wheel for that application. So we learned from that. We learned from that failure, if you will. And recently, when we've tried it, we've taken all of those aspects together and we've, we've put them together to make this test run. And again, so far, with all of those combined, it's been very successful. We do a number of di diameters here, diameters from one-eighth up to one inch in diameter uh, in the centerless grinding department. So in our current testing, we put all of those aspects together, which included the diameter of the product. We started out with a one-eighth diameter, which is about the smallest that we, we grind here. And we did some test runs with that. And after that was successful, we just started moving up in diameter. And uh, we've, we've been able to successfully grind up to a one-inch diameter blank with very little heat buildup and with a finish that, that we're quite happy with. Here at Mastercut Tool Corporation, we're a global company. And we've seen tremendous growth over the last number of years, both internationally and domestically. We've achieved this growth through a number of things. We've invested in the latest technology. We've put excellent processes out on the plant floor to control that technology. And we also invest in our people, and their sincerity shows forth in our product.